Welcome back to Snowrunner, guys, and in this video, we're going to be going in-depth on Lime's OBS as this video is basically going to mark the full public release of this truck, this highly anticipated truck. Now, basically, the reason why we have three of them on screen right now is because one of them is going to get turned into a sort of street truck, the next one is going to be turned into a mud truck, and then the next one after that is going to be turned into a tow rig. Now, this really is one of the most versatile trucks that I've ever seen. And it really does serve as a nice complement to Lime's L400 based lineup that of course started with the original L400, then the 2017 L400, and then here with the OBS L400. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started in our first OBS, build it into a street truck. Like I said before, that one's going to get a lot of power. And well, I should say a lot of power, like a mid-range amount of power. The mud truck is going to get peak power. And then the tow rig is going to get a little bit more of a real geared uh, towing build. So let's go ahead and get out of free camera and we'll head into the garage out here on West Georgia Mud Park. Let's fire it up. Sounds so good. So good. Now, Limes did a lot of suspension tuning and a lot of suspension work on these trucks, and it really does show when you go to drive them. And one of the biggest things that I personally recommend with these trucks is to not ignore the stock suspension, right? If you're wanting to do a balanced build that can still get a lot of work done in game, definitely, definitely, definitely do not look past the stock suspension because it is still an active suspension and it is still really good at getting the job done. Also, you can fit a lot of vehicles, I should say, well, a lot, not that many, but a good amount, a decent amount, in the bed of this truck. It's a long bed, obviously, and the bed is actually fully collision-based, so you can load vehicles in there and pack them should they fit inside, obviously, the walls of the bed. So let's go ahead and go into our truck storage real quick. We'll go ahead and get some of these DLC trucks sold. We'll go ahead and build up some cash. Fun fact, if you're on a mod map with only $5,000 and you need to build up your in-game cash quick, you can sell all of your DLC trucks that are in your truck storage. So straight into the customization. Now, obviously, you guys know how the customization works on Lime's trucks. You've got your stock, your built, and your bulletproof. This is going to be the street truck. It's getting the 950 horsepower bulletproof engine, and then it's also getting the fast transmission. Now, suspension-wise, since, again, this is sort of a quote-unquote street truck, it's getting the stock suspension. Now, tires-wise, we're going to go with a set of... Let's go ahead and scroll down real quick. We could go with a set of these Interco IROX on deep dish fuels, but we're actually going to go with the Nittos. Now, these were originally sort of the base, like base model wheel and tire setup on this truck, but obviously that has changed over time. We're going to go with this size because I think it actually fits pretty well with that suspension setup. And you can actually raise the truck up to make the clearance a little bit bigger if you so choose. Now, let's go into the winch. We've already got, I mean, we've already got the best winch we could have on this thing. And the final version of this truck features a gooseneck hitch, which you must have Red's gooseneck trailer pack installed in order for that to work. But it is there. You also have saddle high and saddle low, so you can tow semi-trailers with this truck if you so choose. It really can be a all-around heavy hauler slash scout slash trail rig slash whatever the heck you want it to be. Now, bed-wise, we have the dually bed, the flat deck, and the regular bed. I definitely recommend uh, giving the flat deck a go if you're going to be using this thing in campaign mode because obviously you have literally 10,000 repair points, 10 spare wheels, and 133 gallons of fuel. So that's a huge deal. Now this is also one of the very first trucks to have a functional window tint option. So you can go with stock, 35% tint or 5% tint and make it super dark. That's what we're going to go with. Now, rear bumper wise, we're going to throw the Iron Cross rear bumper on there. Lights wise, we're going to go with some. Mm, we're going to go with some. Oh man, I'm going back and forth. I'm going back and forth. Some blue lights on this one. And then rock lights wise, we're going to put the standard rock lights in there. Front bumper wise, we're going to throw the. Mm, let's see. Oh. Oh, I love that Iron Cross bumper with the winch. Definitely, definitely feeling that. That looks really good. Now, steps-wise, we're going to throw the HDX steps on the side. UTV rack, you can actually put that up there if you so choose. And you can even fit small trucks on that, which is incredible. Exhaust-wise, you have that gigantic stack in the bed. You have the hood stack. You have the single stack. You have the axle dump underneath. You also have twin 45-degree stacks and twin straight stacks. We're going to go with the large bed stack because, I mean, obviously, I think that one makes the most sense for this type of build. 
Now, wheels-wise, you can actually go with a chrome forged wheel if you if you kind of prefer that look, prefer that style. You can do the black forged wheel with silver lugs, or you can go through a whole lineup of differently colored lug nuts that you can really match to whatever you prefer, whatever you want. I'm going to make these lugs red, and then the truck itself is going to be sort of a kind of like an off-red, a little bit of a darker red, or maybe, maybe we could go with a, ooh, I do like that. That's almost like a maroon red. I really do dig that. Or we could go with the bright red. I might go with that kind of like maroon red. It looks really, really good. So now let's go ahead and leave the garage. And as you guys can see, even with the stock suspension on it, you can raise it up with that active suspension controller and you're good to go. And my God, is it a beautiful truck. Let's fire this thing up. Also, if you like trucks that smoke, this thing smokes like crazy especially with that gigantic 45 degree stack it's absolutely freaking huge absolutely huge and we have smashed it right on the way out of the garage let's not do that again now i'm gonna go ahead and just jump it right over the uh the jump right there and avoid the light pole this time and now that we've done our first build it's time to go ahead and do our mud truck build now, we're going to have some fun with this one because we have our street truck built. Now, let's get our mud truck built. The mud truck is going to be full over the top everything. Now, the street truck got the 950 horsepower engine. This one is getting the bulletproof engine, which is over, I'm only guessing here, probably over 12, 13, 1400 horsepower. We're going to go ahead and throw that tune in there. And we're going to throw the fast transmission in it. And we're going to do the big lift, which can also be raised even higher with the active suspension controller. And now we're also going to go with the BKT tractor tires in the maximum size. And then as far as the winch goes, we're going to leave the online winch, or sorry, offline winch on there. Got that one mixed up in my brain for a second. And we could put gooseneck hitches in this, but it's a mud truck. We're not putting, we're not putting really anything in terms of towing capacity on a mud truck. Now, let's see. Dually bed, I don't know about that. I don't know about the flat deck for this one, but we may do the flat deck on the tow rig. We'll have to see. Now, windows-wise, this one will be staying stock, and the rear bumper is going to be the Iron Cross. The lights are going to be normal. The rock lights are going to be normal. The front bumper, however, is going to be the Road Armor bumper, and the steps, we're going to do the HDX steps again on this one. We could do the UTV rack, but we're not going to do it on the mud truck, and for this one, we're going to do twin 45-degree stacks, and we have really only one option for wheels. That's going to be that deep dish beadlocked wheel, and then colors-wise on this one, this one is going to probably end up being, hmm, I think for the mud truck, I would actually like it to be blue, or we can make it, oh, we can make it bright green, though. Oh, that, that green really does pop. It's so bright. It's so incredibly bright. Let's fire this thing up. God, having the, the dual stacks in the bed really does kind of give it that old school vibe as well. I really, really like it. I really dig it. So now we're going to raise the suspension up on this one. And as you can see, when you park the mud truck next to the lifted sort of street truck, you can see already there's a big difference in how these trucks look. I mean, there's a gigantic level of difference. And then finally, we have our tow rig. So the tow rig is going to be our third and final build here. But this one is going to be dually based. So it's getting a built engine. It's getting a tow transmission. And suspension-wise, it's getting the tow setup. Now, let's throw a proper set of dualies on here. And we have two different options for dualies. Now, we have the Swamper dualies. And we also have the Bogger dualies. Now, I love both of these options. But I think for this build, I'm going to go with the Bogger dualies in the largest possible size we can get. Gooseneck hitch on the back. And then bed-wise, we're going to do the flat deck. And windows, it's going to get the 35% tint option. And I'm not going to worry about the rear bumper. I mean, literally, we've got a flatbed, so I don't really think I have to worry about it. And granted, the dualies would look a little bit better with the dually bed. But I mean, God, dualies with the flat deck look really, really good as well. So let's throw some proper lights in there, some rock lights in there. And then for the front bumper, I think I'm going to do the Fusion on this one. I haven't, I haven't used the Fusion yet. Now, the UTV rack, you can put it on top of the flat deck, but it does look a little bit odd, and I'm sure you'd be able to pack on this flat deck anyway. Now, for this one, I'm going to do the axle dump underneath so it doesn't really interfere with our vision when we're towing. And wheels-wise, you can make these wheels chrome or black, or you can have black with like some different colored inlays. I think for the tow rig, I'm going to go with a chrome look, and then we're going to paint the tow rig... 
Hmm. Kind of going back and forth now on what I want the tow rig to be. I mean, I'm, we might, I might make the tow rig kind of like this, this whitish gray. I kind of like it. And now it's time to take this thing outside of the garage. God, that is, that is a beautiful setup with the flat deck and everything. Oh my God, I love that so much. That is so sick. I absolutely love this thing, dude. I mean, and all of the different ways that you can set this thing up really do make it so, so incredibly versatile. It is literally one of the most versatile trucks and one of the most versatile setups that you could possibly have in SnowRunner as a whole. So now, whoa, we probably should have gone with the weighted setup on this thing, but don't worry about it. It's fine. It's literally A-OK -okay, all fine. But my God, once again, let's bring this guy up here next to the other two and just see what it looks like when all three of them are together. Holy crap, that is so awesome. Like, seeing all three of these things, seeing all three of these things lined up together like that, wow. You've got your street rig, your mud truck, and your tow rig. And they really are all set up for their, their own respective tasks really, really well, I think, in my opinion. So let's actually get back out of free cam. And I'm going to go back down with the suspension. I'm going to move up here just a little bit, and we're going to put those ramps down. Let's see. This trailer should have plenty of room to get these loaded up. Stop engine. Change over to the OBS. Back it up, and we'll get it up onto the trailer. And locked down. Easy does it. Whoa. Come on. Not bad. Not bad at all. God, I love this thing. If you want to just literally, like, smoke the thing out on the trailer, you totally can. I mean, it's up to you, but you totally can do it. All right, swapping over now to Lime's OBS in more street configuration, or more like SEMA truck configuration. Let's bring you up onto the trailer. Heck, it could be SEMA truck configuration. It could be truck meat configuration. Who knows? All right, stop it right there to kind of counterbalance everything. Swap over to the tow rig OBS. And, oh, man, you can already see it kind of, like, twisting up just a little bit under the weight. But it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's all fine. Pack it up. Fire it up. And bring the ramps into the folded position-ish. Let's go. Thank you so much. And I'm going to actually go into my garage, my mobile garage, real quick. And I'm going to throw on that weighted front bumper because I kind of need it. And I really do feel like it'll benefit us a lot in the long run. Oh, yeah. That helps so much. Bring that towing setup into high mode. And even with the weighted front bumper, it still pulls the front axle off the ground a little bit. Now, keep in mind, this truck is one of the heaviest trucks you can get, even in the mod space. Literally, like, even in the modded truck space, this is one of the heaviest mods you can get in terms of actual vehicle weight. Limes likes his trucks to be heavy. He likes the way it basically kind of helps shape the driving experience. And I can't blame him for it at all. I mean, these trucks really do feel like they have a lot of, like, substance to them when you're driving them around. And they definitely feel like you're really, you know, throwing a lot of weight around in terms of what this truck actually can do. So let's take these two down here to this mud pit just so we can get a little bit of driving in. And I also wanted to show you how well this thing could haul because, I mean, it hauls like an absolute machine. That trailer wants to get into the light poles. I'm going to hit the trailer brake. Oh, my God. That's with the trailer brakes on. That's how heavy these two OBSs are together. Is I put the trailer brakes on and it just kept going for like a good, what, 50 feet? I mean, God, I don't even know. All right, stop you right there. Ramps down and unpack. Stop engine. And let's go ahead and run the street build through this little mud pit. And then we're going to follow that up with the mud truck. And I'm pretty sure I know which one is going to win out here. But let's find out just to see. All right. We'll get you into position real quick. Back it up. And... All right. We're ready. Three, two, one, go. Sending it. Holy wheelie. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god, that just absolutely flew through that! Holy smokes, you guys, that's that's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Now it's time for the mud truck version, the actual mud truck. This one will decimate. This one will absolutely decimate. I, I am 
fully confident that that is going to be the scenario here. So let's see. Get ready. And three, two, one. Full send. What? Straight up just pulled the front end off the ground. Whoa. That's amazing. I kind of messed up my launch a little bit and ended up starting to dig. But like right there to the end, it pulled another massive wheelie. So you guys absolutely need to get your hands on these trucks. They're an absolute blast to drive. They're a blast to use. And Limes did an absolutely incredible job with them. So that's going to do it for this video. And if you enjoyed, be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Hit that like button. And also, if you're new around here and would like to see more, make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. And I'll see you all next time.